This is the U.S. Army's state-of-the-art tank, the M1A2. With its computer-controlled firing systems and digital communications, this giant lump of metal is highly sophisticated. The A2 is really the first information age tank. It's more like a computer behind an armored box. It really is the dawn of a new era in tanking. It's also extremely powerful. The gas turbine engine delivers an awesome 1,500 horsepower. The tank can go 30 miles an hour cross country, allowing the gunner to engage targets out to and beyond 2,000 meters. That's more than most off-road vehicles can go at 30 miles an hour cross country. You're shaking all over this place. Imagine driving 68 and a half tons. This thing weighs 68 and a half tons, fully combat loaded. Inside the rotating turret is the tank commander. The gunner sits at his feet. And the ammunition loader operates on the opposite side of the turret. Sir, pick up, Charlie Niner 2, headquarters 6 0, Redcon 1. I feel safer inside a tank than anywhere I've ever been before. The uh, armor on it is outstanding, the chemical protection system is outstanding. And there's nothing like firing that gun. I was scanned from TRP 1 to 2, driver, you scan from TRP 1 to TRP 3. The tank is fitted with a laser rangefinder, which detects the target's position. Then the onboard computer determines the correct elevation and angle of the gun. This gives the crew a fearsomely efficient first round kill rate. Scan for troops. Identify troops. Target, cease fire. Gonna coax troops. Identify. Fire and adjust. Out of way. They can hit up to six targets in a minute, as far as two and a half miles away. This tank is dangerous. It's got no, no conscience whatsoever. It don't care what it kills, but it's made, it's made to kill. And that's where we use it. We don't take this tank lightly one bit. Anybody that's on the other side shouldn't either. Gunners, Sabo, tank, designate. Up, oh, fire to jump, out of leg, target. While the gunner fires at one target, the commander can use his independent thermal viewer to identify the next. So I can go ahead and stay on one target. He's already scanning for another target. So the process never stops. Driver move out, gunner take over. Driver stop. Target. Identified. TRP2, left side. As a loader, it's my job to get the rounds into the gun tube as fast as I can. The faster I get the rounds into the gun tube, the faster the gunner can hit the target. The fourth member of the crew is the driver. He sits in a space just big enough to fit his body inside the heavily armored hull of the tank. The battle position when the seat is down, you're laid back. It's like driving a futuristic car with T-bars. It's like laying in a lazy boy recliner. It's, it's very nice. It's uh, comfortable. Target, press, on the way. The driver responds Target, directly down. to the commander's Target. instructions. He is my navigator. He's my overhead view of everything around. He sees more than I can see. He tells me where to go, what to do, because he knows what's ahead of us and what's behind us. Yeah, while you're driving, we'll go ahead and swing around and head back over there, all right? Sorry. Being in the Army as a tanker is a very good feeling. I feel pretty good with this tank.